This is the rescue operation of the Shetland Islands. Four of the people on board died. The accident was blamed on the so-called vortex ring. As the rotor blades turn, they're pushing air down. Um, and as you descend into that air that's already descending, you start to build up the, the energy you have to generate lift is, is not there. So you just sink and sink and sink. Could that have happened here, do you think? It's certainly a possibility that it will be investigated as one of the possible causes, particularly if you can't see any form of mechanical failure. One eyewitness last night described the Eurocopter falling like a stone from the sky. The impact of that fall is all too clear. But the helicopter itself is deemed by the Civil Aviation Authority to be lightweight. That means it's exempt from having to carry the onboard black box recorders so useful to investigate. Well, later on in the programme, I'll be talking to the local MP, Anna Sawa, about how the city has reacted to this tragedy. But we're going to move on to the rest of the day's news, first of all. The head of the organisation overseeing the destruction of chemical weapons in Syria has told Channel 4 News that the United States has offered to destroy some of the country's most